Don't do this. Don't take riba. Don't take usury because it's not good for you. So always think of the reward that awaits you in the second life. May Allah Azza wa Jal grant us the Jannah, inshallah, and inshallah we will meet in the Jannah by the grace of Allah. Amin. So knowing what Allah has prepared in the next life for the sincere devotees, that inshallah will help us inshallah to get rid of this sickness. Also, one should fear falling into the riya. We should have this fear, this khawf, fear. Umar ibn Khattab, listen, Umar is asking, whenever I read this hadith, I question myself. I say, subhanallah. Umar ibn Khattab, he came to Hudayf ibn al-Yaman. You know Hudayf ibn al-Yaman, my dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers, is the one whom the Prophet sallallahu trusts, and he has a list of all the hypocrites. So Umar, one day he came and he approached Sayyidina Hudayfa and said, Oh Hudayfa, is my name there in the list? This shows the fear, and this shows the ikhlas, and the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Hudayfa told him, no. Also among the things, inshallah, which will help us to get rid of this disease, one should avoid anything that displeases Allah. Anything displeases Allah, try to avoid it. Also, know the things that chase the shaitan away. We should know, because all these things that come from the shaitan. What will chase away the shaitan? The dhikr, always be in the dhikr, reading the Quran, seeking Allah's protection. Oh Allah, protect me from the Satan, etc. Also, hiding one's deeds. We have to hide our good deeds, not to show them. Listen to this beautiful hadith. Prophet Muhammad Wasallam says, Allah loves the pious worshiper who has pure heart and is not known to the people is a low profile. Always be a low profile. You know, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, the non-Muslim would come and he say, who's Muhammad? He could not recognize the Prophet Wasallam because he just looks like his companions. Nothing special. Of course, when you look at the face of the Prophet Wasallam, you know that he must be the Prophet. Also, we should not take care. We should not think of what the people might say. And I, here I want to mention this story. It is legendary, but there is a morale in it. In the Arabic literature, there is a figure known as Juha. Juha. He told his son, listen my son, the people will never leave you. And today I want to teach you this lesson. Come. And they started uh, their mission, walking their journey with their donkeys. And he told his son, listen to whatever the people say. They passed by a group of people and said, those people are crazy. They have the donkey and none of them is riding the donkey. He said, you heard? He said, yes. Another group, the father was riding, so those people, the people said, the father is merciless. He has no mercy in his heart. He's riding, the little boy is walking. They said, okay, now you ride. The third group said, what? This boy lacks manners. The boy, he lacks manners. He has no manners. He's riding. The father is walking. He said, you heard them? He said, yes. He said, now let us carry the donkey. All of us will carry the donkey. And the people said, they are crazy. He said, people will not leave us. So don't think about what the people say. Think always what pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. Also, among these things, inshallah, the dua. The dua. The dua is the most important thing, my dear brothers and sisters. Always keep crying to Allah, Oh Allah, Oh Allah, keep me steadfast. Oh Allah, keep me steadfast in the deen. Oh Allah, make all my deeds purely for you. Oh Allah, save me from the showing of. And may Allah save all of us from showing of. And may Allah accept our deeds and your deeds. And may Allah reward all of you immensely. And may Allah reward all of us, inshallah, the Jannat al Naim. And we will, inshallah, meet, inshallah, in Jannat al Naim by the grace of Rabbil Alameen. Ameen. May Allah protect you. May Allah preserve you. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.